Thanks, Phil. Sir. Johnny? Johnny, you bloody star. Jimmy, sir. Oh, mind reader you are. Mm, perfect. Chilled to perfection, eh? Is there anything else, sir? Mm. No, it's top. What is it tonight? Reception for the relief workers in honour of their great work during the Great Floods. Great. Look, um, why don't you, um... Here. Have this. It's, um, just... It's just some present from some sheikh or sultan or thingy, and I got plenty of them, and, uh, you know, you're a good chap, and, uh, I mean, we get on, don't we, Johnny? Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. You haven't, um... I don't suppose you know how the king is, do you? I haven't seen him today, sir, but I can find out for you. No, no, I'll, you know, I'll see him soon enough, anyway. Right, well... Thank you, sir. How's His Majesty tonight? Sulking, Mum. Oh, dear. Nothing to do with me, I hope. So, uh, what are you going to do? Me? <laughs> well, you are the page of the backstairs, aren't you? Oh, stuff you, Neil. You're His Majesty's valet. You want to change his kex, you get in there. What? And get my skin torn off? No, thanks. I do happen to know what the time is, actually. Uh, let me just check on my, uh, brand new Rolex. Fake. Real. Prince George gave it to me, cos we're like this. Oh, yeah, you and the Prince are like twins separated it, man. Now, talk to the watch, Ruby. Hey, Jeremy, check it out. It's frightfully vulgar to beg trinkets from one's masters. Oh, I suppose you can't fit into any of Queen Charlotte's frocks, can you? Oh! <laughs> oh, I've done the shoes. Hope they're up to the King's standards. The King? Mm -hmm. Jeremy? Yeah, Neil was busy and Jeremy thought it would be a good chance for me to show my value. Work my way up, you know. Um, um, those aren't the King's shoes. They're Jeremy's. <laughs> Darling boy, whatever made you think they weren't mine? What a model. Congratulations, Jimmy. You've moved up the ladder, mate. You're now a Queen's valet. Can't keep away. Well, official business. Ooh, Ooh, convenient. Something we simply... Get off your high horse. Ah, Johnty. Yeah, I'm around that minor panic. Can I grab you? Mm. Yeah, please take him mm. away. Give my best to Tom and Jess. May I ask? Mm -mm. Nope. Okay. Uh, who's Tom Jess? Nope.
Uh, very good. I wish we could speed that thing up, don't you? <laughs> good evening, sir. I've got to wheel you over to the... Yes, in a minute. I'm sure you thought you were protecting me somehow by not telling me about my brother. But if you ever, ever keep a secret from me again, then you're gone. Have I made myself understood? Yes, sir. Right. I'll go and see the Bishop of Northumberland. Well, I could No, this. I can manage. Couldn't help but worm right into the middle, could you, darling? I'm sorry. Advising Richard? Just like you advised your father. I'm just trying to stop George from going to jail. <laughs> worm on, my darling. Have another gin, mummy. Prime Minister, Mrs. Hill, Your Royal Highness. Ma'am, may I say you look absolutely stunning tonight? You may. <laughs> How nice to see you all. Mm. Mr. Shaw, Mrs. Hill. Your Majesty. I'm sorry, sir, but I did promise Mr. Rougier, head of Warwick's Fire Service, you'd give him a moment. I'd hate to hold up your official duties, sir. Well, maybe I'll find time for you later, Mr. Shaw. I can't wait. Sir, I'm... I'm very sorry. I should have come to you. Yeah, all right. I was coming over out of the car. Look, I want to wipe that smirk off the PM's face. Who should I be talking to? Oh, by the fireplace, attractive woman in the red and black. Got her. She's Fiona Martins. Yeah, she's the Shadow Home Office. Minister, yes, sir. Tip to be the next leader of the opposition. She is younger than him, prettier than him. The next threat, really. So if I... If yeah. you helped her make it to tomorrow's front pages, which would pick up the talk of Westminster, which would then give her TV and radio... Which would time. raise her profile and funds for a leadership challenge. Exactly. You're completely forgiven. In fact, I'm renaming Lancashire after you. It will henceforth be known as Abbey Shire. Yes, sir. Um, Mr. Rouge is just here. Oh, come on. That was a bit... Funny, wasn't it? A pleasure to meet you. Hello, Arthur. Oh, you go after the pines. Cecil. Next for your delegation is Carl Anderson. He represents the... Yeah, uh, I need a P. Yes, sir. Miss Thomas? Major Brooks. How many bedrooms are there in the palace? Fifty-two. Fifty-two? Yeah. You knew that, right? Yeah, well, it just makes you think. Think what? One a week. Hey. Your Majesty. I just wanted to know how it felt when you saw that MP attack me on TV just as you told him to. Feel good humiliating the monarchy? Rehearse that speech of you. A little. It sounded better in my head. Mm. You hurt me. I had to. And when the PM laughs at me behind my back, do you join in and make more jokes? Yeah, only mine are much better. <laughs> Look, Jonty knows about us. This is getting too dangerous. It's always been dangerous. I'll talk to him. It's fine. No, it's not. Mary. Look, these last few days with the PM and everything else, I think that you and I. With all the pressure that's around, I think that we should end this. No, no. What do you mean, no? I have a life beyond you that doesn't need trashing. Oh, thanks. It's not like I'm the only thing in your life, is it? But we don't need to split up. We just, we just need to cool it for a Stop bit. Stop denying who you Why are. Why can't we just cool it? Because he will smash you up, OK? He hasn't even started with you yet. He will make me hurt you. I have to go. Do you love me? Goodbye, sir. Get John T. Good evening, sir. Abigail, give us a minute, would you? I want you to arrange some press. Me and a guest, just the two of us, somewhere decorative in about 15 minutes. OK. Who's the guest? That thing you know about me, it's finished, so you can forget about it. Yes? Yes, sir. I never really wanted to know about it in the first place. So who's the guest? That woman there. What's her name? That's Fiona Martin. She's the... She's my guest. Hi, Fiona. 
Your Majesty. I've been meaning to chat to you all night. Perhaps we can go somewhere a little quieter. Of course. I hear you're making some real waves in the Shadow House. I've flattered your Majesty. I read the papers. Oh, the Times, the Mirror, the Guardian, the Telegraph, they all have them on the front page. But he didn't actually say anything political. She's the shadow bloody home of his minister. Yeah, he just says they share a mutual interest. Really? So she's coming back to his place to listen to his latest Arctic Monkeys LP, is she? Yeah, you were doing really well till you said LP. Look, Ian, it's not actually so bad, not compared to the mess his brother's in. Has he spoken to either of you about Prince George? Uh, no, he seemed pretty fed up with everything last night. Bit like you, Jonty. Moving on, then. Yes? Ray. Hello. Hello, sir. I wondered... How do I get to speak to the King, please? Morning, Maria. <laughs> Darling, I was wondering. I seem to be less busy than I could be, and I thought you might need some help. You're bored. I just thought you might like my eye on certain matters. Why, you don't think I'm on top of things? You will be, but there does seem to have been a lot of fuss. Fuss? Thanks, Mummy. Excuse me. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty, Mr Ray Mellor would like to see you. OK, now? I'll come. No. Richard? No. I'll see him now. I loved working with your father, sir. Job of a lifetime. <laughs> and, of course, it's been an honour working with Prince George. But this business with the car, to hit a man and then drive off, not to help him. I want to go to the police and tell them that it was me driving. Ray, you can't. That... I can never ask you to do that. I know, sir. You could go to jail. What the prince did was wrong, but I assisted him, so I'm guilty too. Well... But there's no way he can be involved. That's not possible. I feel it's the only answer, sir. But just leave it with us for a while, would you? Yes, of course, sir. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, Ray. He's willing. he go to bloody prison. Yes, sir. Peter Bayfield called from the hospital. The victim can't remember any more of the number plate and the police don't have any other leads. Oh, so we got away with it. All right, anything else? I've had Miranda Hill on the phone busting a gut about today's front pages. She's screaming political bias. I think you made quite a statement last night, sir. Right. I'll go and give Prince George the good news. No. No. If, she, if Ray can... George is going to have to own up to what he did, and he's going to take the consequences. David! Go and get George. Oh, Ray Mellor. What a guy. You know, um... I remember another PPO. I think his name was Rob. Did the same thing for my uncle. Ended up head of customs in Bermuda. I think we could do something like that for old Ray. Maybe once he's finished his prison term, sir. Oh, don't be like that. Good word here, a good word there. We'll sort old Ray out. Yes, sir. Johnny boy, good to see you. It's actually... <clears throat> All right, Abigail, thank you. Thank you very much. Your post, sir. Anything else? Yes, I think there is. Go get a suit from wherever they're kept. Any suit, it's yours. You've earned it. Thank you, sir. No, Johnny. Thank you. David! God, I'm popular today. You all right? So, I think, I think the thing to do is that you're going to pay a visit to the hospital. A surprise visit, so we don't have to do it with the press or any of that shit. But you're going to talk to the man you hit, tell him it was you, and then you're going to ask for his forgiveness. And if he doesn't want to give it, if he wants to go to the police, well, then that's how it goes. But that's not going to happen, and I'm right here giving you all the support I can, and you know that. But this way, we're, we're doing it right. Is that it? 
Yes, that's it. There is no way on God's earth that I'm doing what you just said. George. 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 George! That went well, then. Yeah. This place, not all garden parties, is it? Yeah. Oh, hey, have you ever heard of Tom and Jess? I don't know the surname. Tom and Jess? Tom and... Oh, well, there's the Howards, of course. Who are they? Just friends of His Majesty. He visits them quite a lot. Somewhere up north, I think. Neil might know. Right. Thanks, David. Yeah. Your Majesty, Mrs. Hill from Downing Street, sir. I'm afraid I'm busy. Lucy, can you find an address for me, please? Tom and Jessica Howard, friends of His Majesty. Yeah, I can't find them on the database. Look, guys, I don't know. Oh, grow a backbone, will you? Yeah, but it's just... Yeah, it's it's part of the tradition. He will have done this to other footmen when he was younger. Back in the 1860s. <laughs> Looks like Jeremy likes the queen on top at night, eh? <laughs> Look at all this stuff. What's been holding all these years, eh? He'll be back in half an hour. Come on, will you? Go, 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 go. Why? He's told George to confess. He won't let Ian bury it. Disappointing. Oh, oh easy, Rich. You'll kill one of them one day. <sighs> Oh, God. Have you won yet? Ellie, if you're not going to try, it's not worth it. All right, it. fine. Go on, you boys can relax. Yeah, I know we just have to be seen to do the right thing, rather than actually do it, but I am right about George, aren't I? Well, I think you've made a very brave decision. Yeah, thanks. And this fight with the PM, nice front-page photos, Rich. You smug old bastard. <laughs> I hear he's fuming. <laughs> so what's next? Hmm? Oh, I don't know. I feel like I've made my point. Really? Are you king or not? If you can send your brother to prison, no, then you... No, 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 no. I'm absolutely 100% behind you. I just think, if you're willing to do that, you have to make sure that old man Shaw stays down. No, Ellie, and I... don't let your office bully you. If Ian and the others don't share your vision, then get some new faces in. Yeah, I guess. There are hundreds of ways to exert your influence if you really need to. Mm -hmm. Come on, one more set, and then I'll tell you how we can really, really upset the PM. Aloysius. Look, I know this, and you know this. This is not just about the king, it's about the institution and its future. So while we might all nod while we're in there, the fact is that Prince George will never visit that hospital. And the sooner the king stops wasting his time fighting the Prime Minister, the better. Yes? Good. Your Majesty. Hi, oh, hi. Come in, come in. Your Majesty. How is everyone? Very well, sir. Good. So, Sir Ian. Your Majesty, shall we start with your weekly diary? Abigail has a detailed agenda for us all. Actually, I've had an invitation. Sorry, uh, do you mind? There's a school for disabled children under threat of closure. I was rather disappointed when I read about it. I thought I might put in a visit. Well, this didn't come through the office. Well, Eleanor always seems to do this kind of thing, and just because I'm king doesn't mean I should only be doing the glamorous stuff. What do you say, Abigail? Sounds very admirable, sir. Yeah, doesn't it? Uh, here we go. Ambledown School in Bromsgrove. Oh, well, that's easy to get to. 
Isn't Bromsgrove yeah? the Prime Minister's constituency? Is it? Oh. Uh, oh, well, maybe we could do a joint visit. Ian, what do you think you'd say? Uh, I'll ask him. Great. Have we go. Thank you, sir. Anything else? Good. Thank you. Uh, sir, I know your intentions are admirable, but please stop. I think you're making a terrible mistake with your brother and fighting the Prime Minister. I'm not fighting the PM. Sir, everything you now do... Look, I don't want to talk about it. George is being George. I need you to fix him. Make sure he goes to the hospital. Sir, I don't want him to go. I don't want you to risk humiliating him. I want you to understand... I don't care what you want. Do it. Ian. Do it. Yes, sir. The President of the United States of America has slept in this bed. So has Jawal al Nair. Are we lowering the tone? On the contrary, they're all at it. <laughs> Come on, tell me. Tell me. Who is the King's lover? Tell me. Tell me. Tell I me. don't know. You won't tell. If I knew, I wouldn't tell. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you shouldn't tell. No. Unless you really, really want it to. Does the princess keep secrets from you? Of course she does, Abby. Hmm. It's them and us, one-way traffic, you know that. So why put up with it? Because of her. Hmm. I mean, like you, you'd uh, pretty much do anything for him, wouldn't you? Yeah. <laughs> Jeremy thought you are off tonight. I am. We are dining out with the Mountjoys. Well, why aren't you downstairs, then? Look, you're not still mad at us, are you? It was a joke. No, my dear boy, that's nothing. I've had my underwear flying from Sandringham's flagpole. <laughs> so? I've lost her diary. When you played that tired old room prank and all my stuff came back, the diary was missing. I always take it to bed with me for safekeeping. It's gone. Soon she's going to want to write in it. Whoa, whoa. You've lost the Queen's diary. I didn't lose it, you imbecile. Easy now. She's going to kill me. Hmm. Do you know what that diary contains? It's history. It's a record of this country's greatest events. It's scandalous, some of it. Thing she's been up to, you wouldn't believe unless you'd read it with your own two eyes. You don't have it. Really? Oh, so I wouldn't know about her secret meetings with the Earl of Rothermore. <laughs> Give it to me. No. Oh, Give it to me! No, unless you want the palace to know all about Mummy's little habits. Are you blackmailing me? Yes, I am. Now, my shoes my tea, and the Daily Mail. Giddy up. We need to have a conversation, sir. No, Paul, Please, I'm... sir. Please. Do you remember your uncle, Prince David? Lives in a little cottage these days, miles from anywhere. Uh, of course, he lost a lot in the divorce, but at that stage, he still had the estate. Then that, that went to the bailiffs after the business failed. He never was much of a businessman. Well, it's hard to be with the drink and the drug problem. Would you say you're much of a businessman, sir? I suppose losing all that was what brought on the breakdown, and all because of a silly joke at King James' expense. <sighs> then that's what happens when you incur the wrath of the monarch. I saw Uncle David once. 
stood behind the railings with the rest of the crowd. <laughs> like a ghost. I can't believe my brother sent you. I promise we will do everything we can to protect you, sir. No, I'll do his but Ruby, did I ever tell you about the Queen's visit to Ascot last year and her mysterious food poisoning? What's that? I've come to offer you my resignation, sir. Well, I, I feel I've lost your confidence. Maybe I'm too old-fashioned. Maybe I'm just too old to serve you as you would wish, but I have failed you. I should have stopped you being dragged in. I wasn't place. dragged. But I should have stopped it. Well, you couldn't. It was my duty, nonetheless. I care more about you and your family than my feeble brain can express. And I'm sorry that I've let you down. You haven't. It has been an honor to serve you, sir. No, shut up. I don't accept it. Bloody hell, Ian. You annoy the shit out of me sometimes. I don't go and bloody sack you. I think you need someone younger, sir. I need you. I'm not having you abandoning me. Not now. And I'm not letting up on Teddy Shaw either. I've known you since you were born, but I don't understand you anymore. I try, I try. Sir, sorry, Her Majesty's on her way and I can't seem to stop her. Richard. I'm busy. No, no, I can... Uh... You can stay. And you. Richard. He put a man in hospital. He could have killed him. Your brother. I had to do what was right. No, oh, will you listen to me? You can't hit someone and then drive off and think you can get away with the consequences. Your brother. Your brother. Yeah, I know. And you... Send him to prison on a, on a principle. This family, we only have all this because they let us. Mm. She'd risk all of us on some badly thought out. You child. He'll be okay. You'll be okay. You must excuse me, Ian. Your Majesty. Look, I'll uh, I'll try and sort that stuff out with Teddy Shaw. Can you, Anit? Can you get that girl of his in? Get her in. I'll sort it out through her. Thank you, sir. OK, he's in the corner. You were just here on a flash visit. That's the official line, so say hello to a couple of the others first, OK? Gonna be fine. Your Majesty, Mrs Miranda Hill. Mrs Hill. Your Majesty. Try to ring. Only to tell me to stop beating up your boss, I bet. Well, it is my job. Look, well done. You've proved your... Well, you've proved a lot. We've dropped three share points in the opinion poll, so... But this is ridiculous. You can't try and bring down a government just because your girlfriend's dumped you. The ego on her. It's not all about you, you know. Really? I wanted to do something good. I saw a woman with no voice and I wanted to help. 
and now you're planning to exploit some disabled children. Yeah, and you know what? Next week I'll be exploiting 300 nurses and then some factory workers and then the teachers, and I think they'll all be pretty grateful. And then what? Hmm? I mean, what happens if you actually succeed in bringing down the Prime Minister? What do you think you will have achieved? Look, I don't know. I'm just starting. Oh, I'd have proved... Proved what? That at least... What? No, come on. I want to hear the master plan. I'd have shown... shown Look, what? I don't know! All I ever think about is you, and all I ever fight about is... And I can't stop. You know, not, with, not without a fight, not ever. I love you. Do you, do you understand that? I love you. And how long do you think it can last before we both get crushed by this? I don't really care. It won't work. Yeah? You can't. <sighs> We're stupid. This is totally wrong and <laughs> stupid. I don't even like you. <laughs> <laughs> She says, oh, you are brave, Mr. Dodge. I say, brave? I say, what's there to be scared of? When you've been dropped from 10,000 feet into enemy territory and the jerry gunners are trying to put a bullet in your bollocks. Well, love, that is brown trouser time. It was me. What's that? It was me. I was um, the one driving the car that hit you. And, um... I, I, I came here tonight to tell you how sorry I am for what I did, uh, obviously, but mostly, um, uh, mostly for not stopping. It's unforgivable, and um, if you want to take this forward, I mean, you know, uh, whatever you want to do, I wouldn't blame you. Your brother gave it to you, didn't he? Sorry? For your 21st. The number plate. G210487. Yeah. 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 You came to me when they said you were coming by. I remember reading about it in the newspapers last year. We all make mistakes, son. Yes, sir. I wake up at night because of it. I'm so sorry. You drove off and left me lying there, didn't you? That is a terrible thing to do. Yes, sir. Well, at least you're man enough to admit it. I'm glad you're not in the bloody army. You, in charge of a tank? God help us all. <laughs> <laughs> Silly old sub fell for it. Down. 
Your Majesty, I need to talk to you. Ma'am? I'll leave immediately. No. I miss my husband. I will never let you be alone. Never. Where the hell is my bloody drink? Stop moaning, you miserable old bag. I'll get it immediately. Well, well done, everyone, especially me. It's a joke. Right, I'm off. Maybe uh, try to find some mates. Tom and Jess, sir. You what? Tom and Jessica Howard, sir, friends of the king. Never heard of them. Well, you visit them. I think I know my brother's mates. Yes, sir. When do you finish? Next week, sir. Right. We'll miss you. Thank you, sir. Well, that's about as close as they get to apologising, isn't it? Yeah, well, chosen by God and all that. You believe that? I have to admit, I miss all this, though. I still can't believe you'd have gone to jail for him. A lot of us would. You'll be like that one day. Yeah. Take care, Ray. Take care of them, too. the door. Oh, I'm finally going to get laid. Tell me you'll be gentle with me. You and Miranda not getting on. Oh, forget about it. How often does she come to the palace? Tom and Jess. Tom and Jessica Howard, right? Friends of His Majesty's who don't appear on any itinerary, database, invite list. Even Prince George hasn't heard of them. I'll be... You know, it was so bloody loaded when you said it. A nice little in-joke for the two of you. Why are you snooping around this? Piss off! You and Miranda Hill playing this whole we-know-something-you-don't line. What, you think I wouldn't want to know? Or you think I'm just too stupid to work it out? And what is it you've worked out? Miranda Hill is the mystery woman. Tom and Jessica Howard, that's the names they use when they're off screwing. That's why we have no records of them. Miranda Hill is the king's lover, the PM's bloody communications director. Oh, he's dabbling in politics. He's screwing her and he's screwing us. Great. Well done. Now forget you know. Or do you want Downing Street and the palace coming after you? But well, doesn't Ian know? Of course not. You want to be the one that betrayed the King's confidence? He's betraying us, isn't he? It's a one-way street, Abigail. Look, calm down. No. You're in on the joke. It's not a... joke. George! Georgie! Georgie! I've been sweating like a pig. <laughs> Hello, mate. Thank God, eh? Hey. Well, it's done. Yeah, you did good. Yeah. Oh, come on, let's crack open some tinnies, get mullered, celebrate. What do you say, eh? I'm a bit knackered. Right. Uh, OK. Come on, Josh. George. Let's get you fix up. Hey. Sir, I have the boxes for you. Great. No, you know what? I can't be asked tonight. Give them to me tomorrow. Yes, sir. Bad day? Yeah, I've had better. I'm sorry. I would have thought Mrs Hill's visit would have cheered you up. 
Is there anything else, sir? Well, then I'll be heading home. Good night, Your Majesty. I nearly pooed in my pants when I realised he'd gone to see her. Mummy and I would never fall out, not even over something as important as this. You haven't read it, have you? We have no secrets. Yeah, but the diary, it's... It's the most boring piece of drivel ever. It's all three glasses of gin, initials instead of names, weird spelling, and a load of racing tips. There is an ounce of gossip in it. Important, it ain't. You haven't even opened the cover, have you? My darling boy. I wouldn't dream of such a thing. I did ring and try and warn you, but you didn't pick up. Sir, um, can I get you something? Uh, coffee or um, vodka? Actually, I don't think I've got any tonic, but... Um... What is it you think you know? Nothing, sir. It's none of my business. Oh, so why are you digging? Because I'm a nosy cow and I don't know any better. It's why I'm a good OPS. You got a beer? Yeah. All the glasses are filthy. I could wash you one up. If... Uh, just... You live alone? Yeah. It's nice. Uh, it's a dive, but, um... I'm hardly ever here, so... Have you got a boyfriend? Oh, I should mind my own business. No, I... No one's serious. You keep it to yourself. I'm... The rules are different for me. <laughs> she laughs at you. She mocks you when you're not around. I know. She tells me. The joke's on you. She works for the PM. She's married. She... Why? Because it's not allowed and we do it anyway and... and... It's fun. You won't tell anyone? No, sir. No, OK. Thanks. You're right. It's a shit tip. Shit, sir! Get in the car! There! 